In December 2023, the Ministry of Defense and Test Defense inked a contract to create and build the Track Support Vehicle VAC, for the Army. This initial phase plans to deliver 394 units in various versions, aiming to replace the old armored Caterpillar transport. Insiders close to the program mention that the exact number of vehicles remains undetermined and will ultimately hinge on the ministry's assessment and the available budget for the program in 2025 and beyond. The goal in the coming months is to keep the planned level of ambition to ensure we don't lose the initial momentum, these sources noted. While no deadlines have been set, the intention is to wrap up the first phase, pending final defense approval, and aim to finalize prototypes and pre-series models before the year ends. The foundation of the new VAC lies in the 34-ton GDELS Santa Barbara Sistemas Escod Barge. However, early studies suggest versions could weigh up to 42 tons, according to our sources. The initial design generally integrates two distinct sections, the lower part, akin to the Ajax armored vehicle used by the British Army, and the upper section, reminiscent of the Castor Sapper fighting vehicle, both are based on the Escod design. For propulsion, SAPA has proposed reusing components from the GDELS SBS Ajax program, such as the generator and the ACT 850 transmission, which is tailored for military vehicles up to 45 tons. They'll also use MTU engines. The Basque Company emphasizes that these drive solutions are well proven, featuring a transmission with over 10,000 kilometers of usage in heavier vehicles tested in the United States. The contract specifications for Phase 1 outline that the VAC will be a family of armored vehicles. This includes personnel carrier, anti-tank protection, command post, and pickup cargo variants. Also, it will cover armored charge, 120mm heavy mortar, forward observer, ambulance, sappers, and recovery versions. The quantity of each variant remains under discussion. In the medium to long term, the goal is to introduce new phases with additional versions, such as bridge launchers. Therefore, it is crucial to design a vehicle capable of supporting up to 42 tons from the onset.